Welcome again guys. In today's video we will talk about the Shas and Intadar Shah. It is well known that there are three divisions in the Shah system namely, the Shah, Bhukti, and Intra. The other terminology for the Shah is Mahada Shah, Bhukti is known as Antar the Shah and Intara is referred to as Pratyanta the Shas. Since, the terms Mahada Shah, Antar the Shah, and Pratyanta the Shah are being used in Befao Bay, we will also use the same terminology. The Shah or Mahada Shah forms the most important factor in a horoscope. If the Mahada Shah Lord is strongly placed then the results shall be beneficial to the native. Now, how to analyze if the Mahada Shah Lord is strongly placed in a horoscope or not? Following points, if carefully seen in a horoscope shall confirm the placement of the Shah Lord. 1. The particular the Shah Lord should be the owner of a strong bhu. 2. The Lord should be placed in a beneficial or good bhu. 3. The Lord should be placed in own, existed, mool trikona signs. 4. It should be conjunct with a benefic planet or slash and friendly planet. 5. No malefic planet should aspect the Mahadasha Lord. 6. Aspect of the benefic planet is a must on the MD Lord. 7. The strength of the Lord should on strongly be disposed of in Navamsa chart and other important Vargas. 8. In Astakavarga the benefic points, Bindu, for the planet concerned should be on the higher side. If all the above factors are present in a horoscope, then the native is surely to enjoy the benefic results of that particular Mahadasha. If for a native both the Dasha Lord and Anta Dasha Lord are strongly placed, Keeping in view the above factors, then the native shall not experience any difficulties in getting the benefic results of the Mahada Shah, until the Shah concerned. Alternatively, if the Mahada Shah, MD, Lord is strong but the Inta the Shah, AD, Lord is weak, then the native shall have less of ill effect during the period. But if the MD Lord is weak and the AD Lord is strong, the entire good results promised in the horoscope during the given period to the native shall not be seen, still the native shall experience some benefit results. If Mahadasha and Antardasha Lord are weak and ill-disposed, then the results shall be bad only. We should also understand one very important factor, even if Mahadasha and Antardasha Lords are very weak and ill-disposed. In some natives chart, still you may see that the concerned native experienced, benefit or good results. The question that may arise is how is a weak Mahadasha and Antardasha and ill-placed Dasha Lord should confer benefic results to the naive? There is a reason for it. There is a term known as primary strength or basic strength of a bhava or the horoscope. Suppose, in a horoscope if the Mahadasha and Antardasha Lord does not possess strength but other associated planets have great strength, then on this basis, even if the Mahadasha and Antardasha is a weak lord shall confer good results to the native. But the benefic results may not be to the fuller extent. The effect of bad Mahadasha and Antardasha will definitely be experienced by having Mrityatuli Akash to death-like difficulties to the native. The other important factor, we should know here is that the relationship between the Mahadasha and Antardasha lord should be ascertained firstly. The Mahadasha and Antardasha Lord should not be placed in 6 eighths axis. Even if they are otherwise ill placed, then also the full benefic results shall not be experienced by the native. To be specific, if the Mahadasha and Antardasha Lords are placed in 6, 8, 12 house form each other, then the position is not conducive to the native. But if they are placed in Kona 5, 9, 2, 12, 11, 3 from each other, they will confer only benefic results to the native. But, if the two planets are conjunct in particular Rasi, then the relationship between the planets along with its ownership of the Bhava should be carefully be analyzed before forming any conclusion in regard to its outcome. If both the planets, Mahadasha and Antardasha lords, are natural friend then they will give results as per their Karakas. But, conversely, if both the planets are natural enemies, and are conjunct then the good results are rare to come by. Rare, word has been used here and it should not be confused with no good results should be expected. So, 
one should say that some good results shall take place but the degree of it shall be to a lesser extent only. If both the planets are conjunct and both are weak then during their period they will give results by competing with each other. In an malefic MD, the AD of another malefic is bad. For X, in Rahu Mahadasha and Antardasha of Mars and vice versa, in Saturn Mahadasha and Antardasha of Rahu and vice versa, in Mars Mahadasha and Antardasha of Saturn and vice versa. In all the above Mahadasha and Antardasha planets have inherent nature and every potential to produce only bad results.